Hello, so this is going to be a quick little video on the BEM 4GP and this is the version with the drinking tube system on because uh, the other one I've got is actually the later model without the drinking tube system which meant it actually worked better we'll get into that in a moment this one actually came with the original interestingly designed haversack for it uh, in Belgian jigsaw pattern which despite the kind of weird look of it is actually quite an effective camouflage pattern when used out and about because of the big splodges of sort of quite strong contrasting colours when this camo is sort of brand new and not faded, uh, the red sort of brown colour tends to look almost pink. But again, red pink colours in camo actually work surprisingly well at sort of blending with browns in the environment, just because of how the human eye works and colours. So the Ben 4 GP has got a sort of interesting history behind it. Belgian, uh, or Belgium, I guess, rather than Belgian, um, was adopted it basically in the early 1990s, if I remember right, to replace the M51 which was basically, you know, the French mask that had been in service for ages with France and Belgium. France also went to that mask, the AFRA, or whatever it was called, you know, um, the one we don't like that the MP5's cloned from, and the MP5 is better. Anyway, the Belgians came up with an interesting design. I can't remember if they actually designed this, or they got somebody else to design it for them, and then they put in orders, I think it might have been with German factories, but basically the idea was that they wanted their own domestic mask that nobody else was using. But the problem was um, that although the BEM4GP on paper is quite a cool design, and it seems very ahead of its time for 1990s masks, it had a couple of kind of big issues of it. And I think it was those big issues from what I've read, combined with the manufacture cost, that eventually led to them just buying Avon FM12s, if I remember, because it was just basically cheaper to buy the Avon FM12 that was tried and tested and lots of countries liked it rather than carrying on with their own design, which, in theory, if they ironed out all the faults would have been good, but I guess if they weren't making them domestically, the cost is a bit of a problem. So the main function of the BEM 4GP, which you'll probably be aware of, if I can get the camera held there, because I've just got a handheld one today, is that basically the intake bends or flips and locks into place, so you can use it left right-handed or the filter vertically down, which is a really cool function. So filter intake there, which is adjustable, and then you've got your voice diaphragm there under that cover, your XL valve, um, now I think the XL valve also uses that, I'm trying to remember, because again this one looks a bit different because it's the original version of the drinking tube. So anyway, that's where the drinking tube system connects, and that's where you run into problems, because apparently this is where they had lots of leaks of the mask where air would get in through the drinking tube system. Um, and again, like I've said ages and ages ago, you know, and over and over again in videos, Drinking tubes are brilliant if they work well with the mask. They're a massive flaw if you have a drinking tube system that doesn't work properly. So that was the problem with this. But it has a good panoramic lens. Um, you know, it's got a very clever filter system. I don't think that ever actually had any faults of it. It always down to the drinking tube system, I believe. The other BEM 4GP I've got just literally has a plastic sort of cap there where that's been taken off. So it looks a lot more sort of slimline. The straps could be better. They're not awful, but they're kind of that annoying strap system where... A couple of straps you can adjust quickly, others require you to sort of open buckles, move them and close them. Certainly not the worst straps in the world. After reviewing the PMK4 recently, this is probably still better straps than the PMK4. However, you know, that's one area this could certainly have been improved. So yeah, this is one of those masks that turns up on the surplus market in the UK, weirdly, even in the corona times as of now, still for about 30 to 40 pounds. This one was 30 odd pounds with the bag and postage. And... The one I bought before was from an army surplus shop, probably ooh, 2010, 2011, somewhere around then. And that one was 30 odd pounds. Now, if you're going to get one of these and you know which one you're going to be getting, get the one without the drinking tube adapter on. Just because, as I've said before, that was apparently where most of the faults came with this mask. Air would leak in through that, rendering the mask useless. Hence why on the late models they just took the drinking tube thing off and basically just sealed that bit closed. However... In terms of how well people can hear you when you've got the mask on, your field of view, and all of that stuff, it's actually quite a good mask. But again, the problem, the reason it left service was because of the flaws and then the price of fixing them, you know, meant it was just too much per unit when they could essentially just order masks from somebody else for cheaper. So there you go, a very interesting mask. Kind of a shame that what happened to it happened to it because it had been really cool if later better variants of this came out. But sadly, you know, it was... First model with the drinking tube system that was prone to breaking, then the model without the drinking tube system, which was apparently fine, but it still cost too much per unit, so they just went to FM12s. Whereas if they made like a cheaper, more refined version later on, that would have been cool. 
Anyway, they're worth picking up, I think, just because at that price, at the moment with Corona, you're not going to get many masks in that price range, and they're um, pretty good. So yeah, I don't want anybody asking in the comments, where did you buy it? I got it on eBay, and you can still find quite a few on eBay. Again, like I said, not the best mask in the world for sure. It was a flawed mask, but it's actually a really interesting concept. And, you know, it's nice to take a look at one with the drinking tube system, and I can actually understand, well, even just playing about with that, I'm not trying to connect anything to it while it's a bit of a crap drinking tube system. Uh, so there you go. So that's got the cool little bag with it. Just note, the bag is quite strange because it's a haversack, but you can undo it down the middle. Um, when it's done up, it's like a regular vertical haversack. When it's opened up, it opens up like this. And it's got some more solid bits in there for keeping it sort of rigid. But yeah, it's a pretty cool haversack. You'd probably... If you bought the mask for 30-odd quid and didn't like it, and it came on a haversack, you'd probably find good use for this as just kind of like a camping bag type thing. Not to obviously fit a tent in, but just for utilities or like food or something. But yeah, there you go. Bem 4GP, head of its time, but too costly.